Nelly for that warm welcome. I think it's, it's particularly important just looking out there and where we are today and that significance of welcome to country. And as a Gumaroid Murray from Northwest New South Wales, Bora Crossing Mob, particularly really meaningful and, and great to have Aunty Millie here, not only the connection that warm welcome to Gadigal country, but the Wiradjuri link there too. And you know, in a couple of months, we'll be out in the center of uh, the mighty Wiradjuri nation and um, being able to enjoy a very significant culture out there. But I'd also like to acknowledge uh, our honoured guests here, the Honourable Troy Grant, uh, Deputy Premier and Minister for the Arts and a few other ministries, but the, the most important one, of course. <laughs> uh, Councillor Matthew Dickinson has made the trip from uh, Dubbo, the Mayor of Dubbo. Great to have you here, Matt. Uh, Kate Fielding, who we just heard, the Chair of Regional Arts Australia, and also my fellow Regional Arts Australia directors who've uh, made the trip here to uh, meet here in Sydney and, and be part of and also my fellow directors of uh, Regional Arts New South Wales. Of course, Helen O'Neill, British Council Australia, um, and also the representatives of, of our, our key partners, Arts New South Wales, the Ministry for the Arts and the Australia Council for the Arts. Um, also our heads of cultural Sydney's cultural institutions, with special mention to uh, our host here at the Sydney Opera House, Louise Heron, and we're very appreciative of you opening up the house and having us here. Uh, and of course, all the supporters and champions of regional arts in Australia. Um, it's fantastic to be here today as the Chair of uh, Regional Arts New South Wales. After an amazing amount of work that's already been done by a stellar team, um, Artsland team, as well as the staff of Regional Arts New South Wales. It's been a long time coming, I, even though Kalgoorlie seemed you know, only a moment ago, but um, there's been an amazing amount of work there. And of course, you know, being able to launch Artlands Dubbo 2016, part conference, part festival, and all arts. We'll see an amazing four days in October where the creative and cultural power of regional arts is going to be celebrated in what better place is Dubbo, the central heart of New South Wales, and also the heart of the Wiradjuri Nation. Um, uh, thank you, Elizabeth. Good morning, everybody. And if I could start uh, by also uh, acknowledging country here, uh, the beautiful Gadigal uh, land of the Eora Nation, and uh, thank you, Aunty Millie, for that beautiful welcome and acknowledgement, as always. Uh, I've got a few hats, I guess, today, um, and I stand here as a very proud uh, Deputy Premier, uh, knowing that the partnership that the agencies across New South Wales uh, have made in collaboration and partnering with those uh, corporate and other government um, agencies to bring together Artlands 2016. So to uh, ask New South Wales, my, my sincere gratitude um, to my team there. I'm just looking around for Mary and, and the guys, not here, but uh, regional, oh, there, there you go. Um, to regional arts New South Wales, obviously, and to, to destination New South Wales. Uh, it is partnership and collaboration that is ob obviously the key to where we're most successful. So uh, as the Deputy Premier, and from that perspective, I'm um, very, very pleased in, uh, that we are supporting such a significant event uh, in the capital of Western New South Wales, being Dubbo. <laughs> the, the second hat, I guess, is, uh, if I can speak as the Minister for the Arts, um, I'm enormously proud as the Minister to uh, be hosting a, a national regional arts conference, festival, and a wonderful opportunity to showcase the arts uh, in a wonderful location uh, in Dubbo. Uh, it is uh, completely consistent uh, with what I aspired to do uh, when I delivered the first ever strategic policy document uh, with Creating New South Wales. It speaks to access, strength and excellence. It speaks about collaboration. It speaks about showcasing uh, what is all we have to offer uh, in relation to arts. Uh, so as a guiding document, as a guiding principle, I uh, couldn't be happier uh, with how everyone's come together and I thank the Artlands team uh, for making that possible and being true to the spirit of what is a historic document. It's the first ever arts cultural policy strategic document ever passed by government in New South Wales and it really is giving us a roadmap um, forward to continue to invest, showcase and celebrate everything that's great in arts and culture in New South Wales 
and in this case particularly regional New South Wales. Can I, in addition, in my role as Arts Minister, thank uh, the New South Wales cultural institutions who are also playing a significant part and I acknowledge Louise Heron, uh, all the team, uh, Matt Fuller, uh, trustee of the Sydney Opera House and all your wonderful team here and Dollar is here from the powerhouse uh, as the examples. The cultural institutions we have in New South Wales we should all be immensely proud of. Not only do they do wonderful work within the institution's walls and, and footprints, but their outreach is just growing uh, exponentially and, and they are connecting with communities right across New South Wales to the betterment of every community that they engage with. So my sincere appreciation uh, for that component as well. And finally, I'm also the member for Dubbo. <laughs> and uh, I think it's probably, I'm proudest in that capacity that we've got Artlands 2016. Now, ironically, I must have a disclaimer here <laughs> that uh, I became the Arts Minister in <laughs> April 2014. Uh, soon, very, very soon after, but I think the process was well in train where Dubbo was awarded uh, Artlands uh, Regional Conference. I had absolutely nothing to do with it. <laughs> I promise you that. And uh, it's this, as a member for Dubbo, it's where I'd like to pay significant credit to the Dubbo City Council, led uh, very well by uh, Councillor uh, Matthew Dickerson. Uh, who, and a little bit of a story about Dubbo, if I could. Uh, Dubbo uh, is such a resilient community, um, but it has struggled for a long time uh, with a reputational stigma issue. It has often been known for all the wrong things uh, and very unjustified things. So the people of Dubbo are some of the most incredible people that you will meet, uh, not only in uh, resilience, but talent, um, but more importantly, stereotypically, uh, when I became the Arts Minister and having a, a law enforcement career, uh, most of the media said, what would a flat foot copper from Dubbo know about the arts? And it's those stigmas that we need to continue to break down. And this is a unique opportunity uh, that I'm very proud of, where Dubbo, uh, for the first time, will get recognition across this nation for being a leader in the arts and cultural space in this country. Uh, Dubbo itself has obviously had issues with crime, uh, significant issues with uh, socio-economic Indigenous issues throughout its history, and there's no hiding, no one's trying to hide from that fact. But whenever we've had a, a challenge in our community, we've always united and overcome it. But what the most dramatic change has occurred to Dubbo is we've seen significant societal change in the community atmosphere, in the, um, the strength of the community, because of the investment that has been made uh, in arts and culture. And it's of enormous credit to the Dubbo City Council for this significant investment. Millions upon millions of dollars of ratepayers' money have gone into giving us uh, probably the best uh, regional theatre and convention centre in regional Australia. In addition to that, we have a wonderful um, arts and cultural precinct museum and art gallery there. Uh, you will see private art galleries out there uh, and they all complement the wonderful tourism attractions that we have with Tronga Western Plains Zoo and the wonderful offerings uh, that we have with the mighty Macquarie River, which resembles very much uh, Sydney Harbour. <laughs> uh, I'd say, sort of. Well, this is at the end of Macquarie Street, Sydney. Uh, Macquarie River is at the end of Macquarie Street, Dubbo. <laughs> but it's on, it's on the back of this significant investment. And when the Dubbo City Council um, put forward this significant, uh, it was in the tens of millions of dollars of investment from ratepayers' money, they got enormous kickback um, and resistance from ratepayers generally, but they persevered, they had the courage to invest and continue, and it is uh, the most outstanding investment I've seen from any regional community. On the back of that, our community has changed, and it's changed for the better, and it's changed on the back of the investment into arts and culture. And it's gonna be a wonderful opportunity for everyone that comes there. The thousand odd people, I understand, delegates of the country, uh, will get to see that firsthand and hopefully use that as inspiration to replicate that in their own regional community. So mm. congratulations one and all. Uh, I can't wait for October. I'm really looking forward to the immense talent on show and uh, I look forward to welcoming you all there uh, with the Mayor very, very soon. Thank you. Well, thank you and welcome along everyone.
Um, I'm actually a bit disappointed, Troy. I, I've been giving you all this credit. I said, it's great you get the Arts Minister as your local member and you get events like Artlands, but now you've said that it wasn't your doing. So, <laughs> I'm not sure that's what you're doing. Okay, right, sorry. So, uh, I'll, I'll keep giving you credit for it anyway. It is great having the Arts Minister and the Deputy Premier as our state member. And, and I think Troy hit the nail on the head. What we're seeing with Artlands here this year is a culmination really of 10 to 15 years of hard work by council in actually changing our focus and actually changing the infrastructure we've got in Dubbo. And we go back around about 10 or 12 years when we made the decision to build a cultural centre and the state government was very good to us to give us an old high school and we built onto that and spent about $7 million on building a, a cultural centre and an art gallery there. And to give you an idea, I, I jump in taxis every now and again and I say I'm, I'm back at the airport going back home to heaven and they say where are you going to, Brisbane or Melbourne or somewhere else, they, they obviously have no understanding. And when I tell them I'm going to Dubbo, when they start talking about what could Dubbo possibly have to offer, and I start rattling off things, one of the things that I, that I always hit on is the Archibald. I've seen the full Archibald exhibition several times in my lifetime. I've only ever seen it in Dubbo. I've never seen it anywhere else. And, and that sort of thing, because we've got the facilities there, we get to attract those sort of events. The tier theatre, we've heard a few people talk about our tier theatre. That was about uh, five and a half years ago that we built the tier theatre. Eighteen and a half million dollars, as Troy said, of ratepayers' money. Now that tier theatre, yes, there were some people who didn't think we needed something like a tier theatre, but the majority of our community wanted that and saw the need for it. And now it's our third best tourist attraction. Behind the zoo is our, is our obvious number one, the old double jail is number two, but we just ticked over 400,000 people that have gone through our tier theatre 34% of those people come from outside the 2830 postcode. So it is our third best tourist attraction. And when people were talking about the theatre, some people that were against it thought it would only be about many tights running around on stage. Well, the number of people who use that theatre for a whole range of different activities is quite incredible. And 400,000 people, as I said, have actually gone through that theatre. So we have found our cultural soul. We have found arts and culture in a regional area. And people don't always associate art and culture with regional areas. And the great thing about it, I know everyone in this room will be at Artlands um, from the 27th to the 30th of October this year, they'll get to see that places like Dubbo, and specifically Dubbo, do have a rich cultural soul. And that soul doesn't always get shown into metropolitan areas, but this is a great chance to expose that cultural soul to Sydney and in fact to all of Australia. So we're really looking forward to having lots of people come along to Artlands 2016. But it's also great for the region not only will people come and visit, and I went to Kalgoorlie two years ago to make the announcement, the official announcement that Dubbo had won the conference, and what I found when I was in Kalgoorlie is that art consumed the entire area, not just Kalgoorlie, not just one centre or one facility in Kalgoorlie, it encompassed the entire area. And that's what we're looking forward to because people around the region have got some great culture and some great art that they want to showcase. So not only will you visit Dubbo and spend some time in Dubbo, you'll get to go around to places like Gilgandra, Wellington, Warren, Parks, a whole range of areas, and then even further out west to some of the great places we've got when you go west, some places like Walgut and Warrenup. So that whole region will experience visitation from everyone here, but you'll also get to see what we've got to offer as an entire region. I think that's really exciting for Dubbo and exciting for the region, and exciting for everyone that comes along. So we are excited about it. Uh, Elizabeth's quite right. We jumped on board straight away. When I remember meeting with Elizabeth and she asked for some ridiculous amount of money and uh, I think she got most of it anyway in the end. <laughs> and she's probably doing the same to Troy and doing the same to the federal government as well, uh, if I know Elizabeth. But, uh, but when we talked about what it would give Dubbo, it really is a small investment in what we think will showcase what, what we've got to offer in Dubbo and what we've got to offer in the region. So it is very exciting that I'm here today to be part of the launch of Artlands 2016. I very much look forward to everyone coming along to Dubbo and, and really tell everyone you've got uh, that you know about this particular function, this particular conference, this festival. Uh, really, it's something that we want to be able to showcase Dubbo and leave a legacy for years to come, not just in the facilities we've got, but in the experiences that people have and the talents that we leave behind and the, the, the extra abilities that people have to continue to showcase what we have throughout the whole region. So thank you for coming on today. I look forward to seeing every single one of you. I won't put a, a prawn on the barbie or, or a shrimp on the barbie for you, but I'll make sure all the coffee shops have got well stocked with coffee and have got coffee ready to offer you as you walk down the main street. Uh, I'll see you in, in October this year. Thank you.